out there. I once heard that the era of value voters was over, someone wrote recently. I'm so excited that they were dead wrong. I'm looking around here and I see people just like me who have faith on their sleeves, Jesus in their hearts, and we're just getting started. I'll say this, the truth of my life disproves the lies of the radical left. They want to divide our country according to race and create tribes, but I'm here to say, not on my watch. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'll say this, there's no question. When you think about the radical left and their agenda, we have to start with tomorrow's anniversary and thank God Almighty for the Dobbs decision. Absolutely. We are creating a culture of life in America, and that's a really good thing. But I will say, without any question, the Secretary of the Treasury was in the middle of a banking hearing, and I'm on the banking committee, and I heard the Secretary of the Treasury, the second most powerful woman in the Biden administration, say that poor black women should have abortions to improve their labor force participation rate. I said to myself, I could not have heard that right. I know y'all don't know this, but I'm black. <laughs> and so I said to myself, my mother, a single parent mired in poverty, made the decision for life. And I thank God Almighty that she chose to bring me in the world. So I ran down to my banking hearing to ask Secretary Yellen myself, just to see if I heard her right. And she said, she doubled down on it. She said, absolutely, in order to increase black employment and black opportunity, abortion is an alternative. What a desperate position to take. The radical left has lost so much faith in America, they've lost faith in life itself, but we are here to tell them, life is good, and we are proud to be Americans. We are proud to live in the freest, fairest land on God's green earth. Well, I said the truth of my life disproves the lies of the radical left, and I said that because not only was the secretary yelling, but then the ladies on The View, Joy, Joy Behar told me, I don't know what it feels like to be black. <laughs> I was like, let me go on that show and have a conversation with the women of The View. Because I got to say, their comments were offensive and dangerous and disgusting. And so I went on The View and said, your comments are offensive, dangerous, and disgusting. Because to suggest that the only way for a child of color to make it in this nation is to be the exception and not the rule is a lie from the pit of hell. A lie from the pit of hell. But then President Obama decided to jump in as well. I can't hear you. Oh, okay. I heard you. I heard you. Okay. He says, I'm too optimistic. I have been accused of being too optimistic, too positive, too proud to be an American. For those accounts, I am guilty. Guilty as charged. I love America. I love our country. I love our country because I had a miserable beginning. I started off on the wrong foot. My parents got divorced when I was seven years old. We moved into my grandparents' house. My grandfather was born in 1921 in a very segregated South Carolina. But he believed back then what too many doubt right now. He believed in having stubborn faith. Faith in God, faith in yourself, 
and faith in what America could be. And when, when we moved in, he said to me, as a seven-year-old, you can be bitter or you can be better, but you can't be both. My family chose patriotism, not pity. We chose that this is the land of opportunity, not the land of oppression. And my mother said, God bless my mom. She worked 16 hours a day as a nurse's aide, changing bedpans and rolling patients. And she came home and she would tell me every single day in her own way, there is dignity in all work. And that's why I know as a nation, if you are able-bodied, you work. If, if you take out a loan, you pay it back. And if you commit a violent crime, you go to jail. These are American values. And myself, as a kid, I went to four different elementary schools by the fourth grade. And it's one of the reasons why I believe that every parent needs a choice so every child has a chance. We must make sure that every zip code in this nation is empowered with school choice so that our kids do not have to be indoctrinated, but they get educated. And then we quit teaching CRT and we start teaching ABC. It's time for us to get back to teaching American history in the United States of America. But the Biden administration and the radical left they refuse, they refuse to allow our kids to be educated. So when parents show up at board, school board meetings, they label them domestic terrorists. That's wrong. When pro-life activists exercise their First Amendment rights, the SWAT team shows up, guns blazing at a home because of a pro-life activist exercising their First Amendment rights. But even worse, in this radical left Biden administration, they weaponize the Department of Justice against their political enemies. That is wrong. We deserve better in the United States of America. We deserve better. I wish, and as President of the United States, I would change the trajectory of this nation by focusing on restoring confidence and integrity in the DOJ because we will first fire Joe Biden, second, fire Merrick Garland, third, fire Chris Ray at the FBI. And then, we will turn our attention to our southern border and build a wall and close our southern border. We are going to stop 70,000 Americans from losing their lives to fentanyl because of the precursors that come from China, manufactured in Mexico, and Mexican cartels bringing it across our border. Not on my watch. They will cease to exist. And then we'll turn our attention to China. China is an existential threat to our nation, and we should deal with them as such. They are spying on our kids, buying our farmlands, and breaching our sovereign borders while setting up a base in Cuba. It is time to have a president of the United States who has a backbone and will stand toe to toe with China and say, never again. Not in Cuba, not in South America, and not in the United States of America. God bless you.